this week. And actually, Chris Jones actually retweeted our account on uh, on Twitter. Um, so a couple days ago, uh, Chris Jones had a tweet. Let me go to it. Out of nowhere, he goes, uh, "Where is it here? Okay, uh, the real f- at the real Fla- Frank Clark." Let's finish it. Dot dot dot. At Chiefs, and then he also tweeted at the Beast Pinnell, uh, referring to Mike Pinnell, our old uh, defensive tackle. Um, I took that tweet. I quote tweeted it. it said, "Make it happen." And I put us. Uh, uh, I added. I had a picture of all three of them. He retweeted that. Um, and then the next day, he put bring bring the shark back at Chiefs. So he's not making. I mean, he's making no bones about it. He's he's literally adding the Chiefs publicly. Um, and then today, uh, bring the shark back. Dot dot dot. I will post every day until it's done. So he's making it pretty clear that he wants Frank Clark and Mike Pinnell back, his boys, uh, back in uh, the kingdom. Uh, what do you make? I mean, we talked about always having the kind of veteran presence in the building, especially on the D-line. Yeah. Um, and then also we talked about D-tackle depth. We don't really have a lot of D-tackle depth. Edge, we can, we can make the argument we have a lot of D, uh, edge rushers. But the D-tackle, I kind of like the Mike Pinnell signing. But what do you make of Chris Jones being so public about this recruitment of the guys? I mean, you know, it's his boys. And I think you should. And so uh, that's what you're going to do for your boys. You're going to say, hey, look, I'm going to politic for them. I'm going to bring them back in the building. We the ones brought you here. Shoot, let's finish it up. And so uh, that that's being a good friend. That's being your partner, your boys. Uh, that's that's how it should be happening. You know, you got your, 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 your partner, your homies back. Hey, man, bring this guy back, man. We did it together. Uh, I don't know if it will happen. Don't know. I like, you know, bring, you know, you know, Frank back. Sure. You know, obviously it's like on a friendly deal, you know, um, you know, not 10 million or nothing. I'm not sure they, you know, they ain't got they been talking about trying to sign Patrick, you know, <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> hey, but wait a minute, I'm trying to sign other guys. But, you know, if, if you bring him back, especially Frank, if he's not doing anything, he's not signed anywhere. Sure. You know, you give him, you know, Limited reps, come and teach these guys how to be, you know, what it's all about to be on championship team, how they all, you know, uh, uh, mold together. That, that, that'd be exciting, man. It would really be exciting. It'd be great for the kingdom just to see, you know, Frank come back. Like I said, it'd be like the old gladiator coming through, you know, cheering him up. You know, one good time. Um, you know, Pinnell also too, I looked at a, a, a Defensive tackle debt. They talked about some guys here. I don't know, and, and they might find some some guys. Remember, there were some free agent guys that's supposed to be, you know, turning some heads, yeah. right? And I don't want a free agent guy who may have the ability to come in and actually, uh, you know, contribute. I don't know what to what degree. Uh, for Mike, where, where has Mike been? I, I haven't seen where, where is Mike. He was with Chicago last year. I believe he got hurt um, in that end of his season, I believe. Okay. All right. So I, I don't know what type of shape Mike's in. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but it, it, would it bring, you know, some depth here? Sure. He, he, he'd get the job done. They, man, they, they would have so much fun in, the, in that, that, that defense line group in that room. Uh, it, it'd be an incredible experience. You know, for the guys, the young guys, just to see how these guys just get down, you know, and how they play together. So, but no, by all means, man, hey, uh, Chris is right. Shoot, bring these guys back. If you can bring them back for something that is friendly, uh, sure, why not, man? Why not? Yeah. No, I, I, I agree. And plus, having Frank Clark in with that edge, and, you know, we always talk about you never have enough enough of these guys. And we drafted two of them. You get you get one back in there. Um, obviously, if we bring him back, probably there, there'll be Dunlap. He'd probably be he'd be our veteran edge ad for the for the season. I think if we were to bring him back. Yeah, and, and the thing is, you know, Frank, and you especially if you have him on, you know, a pitch count, and have him come in, shoot, no telling what he can do, right? Yeah, seriously, you That's prolong your, you prolong your, his career that way too. Yeah, absolutely. Shoot, he might come in and get hungry if he's only getting you know one or two passes and get some pressures. Shoot, get a couple of sacks. Shoot, before you know it, a joker might have you know eight to ten sacks. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Just you know, I'm just saying. Yeah, no, I uh, got you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, 
I, I was basically his last few years. I think it was four, four and a half, four. Four and a half. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm being, yeah. I'm being, uh, uh, positively I'm optimistic. Yeah, optimistic. You know, like I said, he might get eight to ten. You know, on pitch count. Maybe that's what. It, maybe that's what he needed from the from the jump. Okay. Just put him in on pass on third down, so that, that's it. Third and long is get his ass in there. That's it. Third and long, man. That's all you had to do. When you come in, you fresh. Shoot, go get it. Yeah. So you right. get you one or, or half of one a game. You already, you already there. Yeah. You half a the game. Come on. You there. Yeah. And also the educational aspect too for all the young guys on the edge too. That's also that's huge. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I I like it, and it's nice to see Chris Jones pretty uh, rallying for those guys to come back for uh, to win another one. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm 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 excited, man. I'm excited to see this uh, the the D line, defensive tackles, uh, linebackers, uh, defensive end. I'm I'm excited to see exactly uh, what this is going to look like defensively, man. I, yeah. I think they do really well, man. I'm I'm really excited for this defense for sure, for sure. It's really, I mean, it's like, it's really young. And like, it's just, I think it's just fun. I mean, because obviously we know we're getting with our offense now. As this comes to the point now, it's obviously it's always fun to watch our offense. But it's like, right. the mystery still with the with the, with the the defense. They got, they, they, the, the secondary is coming to their second year of the sophomore season just to see how they, they've grown from year one to year two. And just seeing the collection of pieces that we have all around the defense now. You're, you're right. I, I, I can't really wait to see that, how good this defense looks this year. I mean, they're going to wreak some havoc. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking forward to. Rick is some havoc, man. And so, yeah, they, they're going to be flying around. Yep. It's going to be a fun defense to watch. And when, hopefully winning that turnover differential that we uh, we were so scared about last year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, okay. At a, at a flip, for sure. At a flip. Yeah. And, and I think with the guys, you know, coming into their second year, especially the secondary, I think that's going to help, um, you know, just knowing the game. Yeah, most definitely. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.